This is Christmas season, folks, and many of us know this Christmas song, O Holy Night. In the middle of its first verse are these words, Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. Now, what is this pining in sin, error and all that? Well, these words talk about the gravity of sin and what it did to the world. Yes, people were aware of their sins. They did sacrifices, yagnas and pilgrimages. And yet, human souls ended up in Sheol after death. Now, is this a Christian concept? No, no, it was common knowledge. Do you know the Sumerian epic, Ishtar's descent to Sheol? Why should they talk about something that they don't believe in? In fact, the Sheol, which is also called Hades, still exists. And today, Jesus has the key to this place. You can know more about it by watching my video, Sheol. Now, hardly a hundred years ago, from the southern tip of India, where I belong, when people reached the age of 60, were willing to walk all the way to the banks of River Ganges to the holy city of Kashi, which is more than 2,500 kilometers away, not minding their waning health conditions, the dangers of robbery, wild animals, and weather conditions, all to make sure that they will wash their sins away in the holy waters of Ganges and give up their ghost in the lap of Mother Ganga. Now, even though I don't believe in what they did, it certainly shows how much people were desperate of getting rid of their sins and attaining mukti. Nowadays, sin is not a big thing for many. People talk about karma and reincarnation. It is like swiping a credit card. Swipe today and pay later. If you can't pay in this life, it is still okay. You can pay back in your next life. But the question is, what if there isn't a next life? The Bible says that there is one life and then it is judgment. Now, one may try to disprove me, saying, there are so many testimonies on the internet about the proof of reincarnation. However, every one of them is a spirit talking through a living person about a real person from the past, some events, a time, and a place in order to deceive the world. These days, there are other clever manipulations as well to keep people away from God, their Creator. I recently heard someone saying that hoping to go to heaven is an inferior motive, but knowing oneself is superior for now and for eternity. Okay, one realizes himself or herself. What next? They become another God. Isn't it what the devil said to Eve? Cutting through all this fog, we need to realize that sin is real, folks. In the physical world, when we commit a crime, we are punished for it. It is the same in the spirit world too. Sin is the crime of the spirit world. It is logical that there is a penalty for it. But the good news is that Jesus, through his sacrifice on the cross, has already paid the penalty for our sins. Now, we all know that children carry the blood of the Father. In that sense, Jesus' blood was from out of this world. In fact, it was God's blood itself shed for the sins of humanity. Only that could break the ugly cycle of sin. It is for the same reason in Samaveda which contains the sayings of Noah's son Shem, we find this prophecy which states that God himself will offer himself as a sacrifice 
and obtain atonement for sins. Christmas heralds the initiation of it. That's why we celebrate it. Jesus' birth fulfilled the promise that God had made in the Garden of Eden to send us a Savior. This is why the whole world was looking for a Savior. Later, when God started communicating through Abraham's lineage, he further made so many prophecies through his prophets about that Savior, the coming Messiah, and it all came true in the life of Jesus. It is a deep study, and I made a video called Jesus, the Promised Seed of the Woman. Please take a look at it. Today, heaven is free for everyone who accepts Jesus as their personal Savior. And the Bible categorically states that there is no salvation in any other name. So, the offer is there. One can secure their life for eternity by making Jesus their Savior. Well, while I wish you all a Merry Christmas, I hope that none of us should miss out on this offer. God bless you.